Hey you guys, I'm super excited about what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go ahead and put a decal on this Starbucks cup and I just wanted to show you a couple of them I made. This one says teacher fuel, isn't that cute? This one says coffee fuel, that's very adorable. And I made them in different colors too, not just the same color. This one says coffee fuel as well, that's in the blue, that's really pretty. This one says coffee fuel and I made this in the red so it's different. One says teacher and the other one says coffee. And these are my favorite. This says mom fuel. Look at how pretty that purple is. And I also made it in this gorgeous, gorgeous green. And then I made another one in the pink. So yeah, this is very easy. I'm going to go ahead and sh have a video just to show you how I downloaded it, the whole process. Don't worry, I'm going to walk you through everything. I was just so excited, so I decided to go ahead and make something since I already had my decal. Look at how gorgeous it is. I'm going to leave the link down below so you can go ahead and go buy and purchase your own decal with a 15% off code so you can get it cheaper. So don't worry, I'm gonna leave all the information down below. Now we're gonna go ahead and use our transfer paper because this is very important. I'm gonna show you what it is and what it does. All I'm gonna do is cut around my decal. I just wanna cut it down as much as I can before I add the transfer paper on there. That's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut the circle. And then I'm going to measure it onto the transfer paper. That's why I like the transfer paper that has the grid line, not because it kind of guides you through the whole process. And when you're a beginner like me, you need all the guidance you can get because trust me, I made so many mistakes. And that's why I'm making these videos to show you how not to waste your vinyl, how not to waste your transfer paper and how to get the best of everything you purchase because nothing is cheap. So this transfer paper is great. It has the grid lines and it'll guide you. If you want to know where I got it, I'll leave all the link and information down below. And if I don't, and if I forget, go ahead and remind me. Now, all I'm going to do is remove the backing to it. Look how easy that is. And I'm going to place it straight onto my decal. That's simple. Once you have it where you want it, make sure you get it right under. Don't miss any part and don't leave any part out. You're going to flatten it out. So go ahead and get your scraper and we're going to just flatten this out with it and we're going to make sure there's no bubbles and there's nothing in the way of us putting this onto our cup easily. So just flatten it out the best way you can and make sure there's no bubbles in there. If there is, go ahead and scrape them and scrape them flat. Don't worry about that. We're going to make mistakes and we're going to correct them and we're going to work this out together. Now look, this is how it should look. And now you can go ahead and just get a look of it, of it and just, you know, go through the whole process. Now I'm gonna use alcohol to clean the cup. Make sure you always use alcohol to clean your cup. Grab a rag or a towel, anything you have nearby. Put a little bit of alcohol and we're gonna go ahead and clean the cup just so we make sure there's no fingerprints, there's nothing gooey on there, nothing in our way from putting on that beautiful decal we just made. So just wipe it down and then let it dry. The alcohol is going to dry super fast, so don't worry. Just let it dry. And we're going to move on to the next step. And once it's completely dry, we're going to be ready to add our decal on there. So that decal was really fun to make. It's on the website. Don't forget, I'm going to leave the link down below so you can go ahead and check it out and purchase a couple. Now I'm going to remove the backing and look at how easy that was. Look at how easy that was. I removed it super fast, super easy. Now the next step is to add it to our cup or whatever we're going to add it to. We're going to add it right here and right now. So I'm going to grab something to just hold the cup down and I'm going to grab some towels so you can put anything there just to hold the cup so it does not move while you're in the process of putting on your decal. So just grab some towels and we're going to go ahead and put the decal right onto the cup. Now make sure you have it exactly where you want it because once you paste it under, you cannot lift it. It's going to stay under. So there's no second chances of lifting it or nothing. You can peel it off and start over again, but I have never tried that process. Just measure it. Use the grid lines to measure it according to the logo right there. That should be your guidance. 
That's going to guide you perfectly. Line it up, and then once you have it ready, bring it down and press on it. You're going to want to press on it firmly so it stays nice and put. Press on it as firm as you can with your fingers, and look at how gorgeous it already looks. Look at how pretty that is. And I love the fact that I wrote mom on there because I'm so living that mom life. And I love it. So I'm just going to press on it down firmly as much as I can. And keep pressing on it. Don't be scared. You're just taking out all the air bubbles, making it sure it stays. And look at how gorgeous it should end up. So you can choose any color to make this. This is perfect. And just press. I love the way it came out. I'm in love with it. You can make them for your teacher. Like I said, I showed you the teacher one. You can make them for your friends. You can make them for yourself. Customize it however you want. And you can add anything you want to it. So I'm gonna, don't worry. I got you. The link is going to be down below for you. And you also get a 15% off your purchase. So it's going to be cheaper than you thought. You're going to get a 15% off, so you're going to have this decal forever, and you're going to be able to play with it all year long and just change the writing from mom to teacher to sister to mother to father to whatever you want. Now, let's go ahead and take out the transfer paper, and let's see the final project. Go ahead and peel it off carefully. You don't want to rip it off. You want to do this very slow. Let me tell you, the slower, the better. Do not rip it off. Do not go really fast. Go as slow as you can while you're taking it off. You don't want nothing to move. And if it does, go ahead and put it back on and scrape it again with your spatula or your hands. But look at how easy and slowly this is coming off. This is a great tip. Go slow on this. Don't do it fast. Go slow. And there you go. You have your final result. Look at how gorgeous it came out. This is so pretty. You guys, if you make one, go ahead and tag me on Instagram. I'll leave the link down below so you can go ahead and show me what you made. Go ahead and tag me on it. It's DIY with Susie as well. And go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Comment down below so we could be friends. And I can show you more tips and tricks on how to use this. You might as well get the best you can out of your machine. Now, I want to add something to the back. I didn't want to leave it plain. I kind of had some things in mind, but I wasn't sure. So I did cut out some other things that I wanted to share with you. And I just want to add something to the back. I feel like it needs it. You know, it needs a little something. So I cut up a different kind. I cut up this thing that says hashtag mom life, which I'm loving. I cut it up in the teal, in the blue. I'm just showing you the purple, how you can make one thing that you, one decal you purchase and you can use it in so many colors. Look at that red is gorgeous and it's going to be perfect for Christmas. I did it in the blue and I also made it in the pink. That's like a sparkly pink, which I love. And I also made a couple of Louis Vuitton logos on there. Look at how gorgeous this green one is. And this will match my cup perfectly. Look at how gorgeous that is. I did it in the pink as well. I like that one. So I did it in different colors just to show you examples of what you can make. And I did it in the red. And don't worry, I will be making videos of how to get this in your system and how to download it and even how to print it. I'm going to go just take it day by day and, you know, play with the whole thing and see what I come up with. But I'm really loving these logos. They are perfect. And they're all in the link down below, so you can go ahead and purchase them as well. Go ahead and purchase a couple and just play with them. And make different things, make them in different colors, make them in different sizes, and see what you come up with and what you can use. So I'm really loving this hashtag mom life, and it matches the front. So that's really pretty. I might use that. And I'm also loving the Louis Vuitton one too as well that matches the cup with the color, the color I got, which I love. So I'm just gonna go ahead and see what I come up with. I kinda wanna use both of them, but I'm not sure. But they're very pretty, and you can also customize it however you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring my towels again, cause I need them to kinda hold the cup together so it won't move. So make sure you, if you don't have something, just grab some towels, some napkins around your house. 
so it holds your cup nice and sturdy so when you're applying the decal it won't move it won't fall it won't do anything but just stay there and trust me it's a helpful tip right there just to add something to hold the cup that's very helpful now let's go ahead and clean it again with some alcohol we're going to do the same process every time we add a decal to anything we want to make sure there's no gooey stuff on there there's no fingerprints there's nothing in the way of our beautiful decal getting put on the cup the alcohol is going to dry super fast so you only have to wait a couple of seconds before you can start to add your decal it dries on the spot so it's perfect Go ahead and put it as close to you as you can. You don't want to mess up and you don't want to have to, you know, take it off. Because it's once it's under, some of them are permanent. You will never be able to take off even if you wash it off. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this down just a little bit to give it some shape before I add my transfer tape. That's all I'm doing. Make sure when you cut it down, you don't cut <laughs> the decal or you're going to have to print it again. So just take your time when you're doing these projects. They're super fun. Once you start, you're not going to want to stop. Trust me. You get like obsessed with it and you just want to make them the best way you know how. And then you think of other things you can do and gift ideas, which you know I'm going to make a ton of custom gift ideas and gift baskets from now on. So we're going to measure this to the grid line and it's super easy to measure it. All you have to do is follow the lines, which... I'm telling you, this is why I like using this transfer tape. The lines guide me through the whole process. And especially if you're a beginner, you need those lines to guide you because you're going to make a ton of mistakes and you're going to be doing a ton of different projects. So you need the help and you need the guidance from the grid. Once you have it ready where you want it, go ahead and cut it and we're going to just place it on top. So make sure that you are measuring it right before you cut it because you don't want to waste none of this it's expensive you want to make sure you get the best use out of it and you go ahead and make it last now we're going to go ahead and do the same process we're going to peel it off and add it right onto our decal it's going to be super easy look how simple that comes off put it on your decal Grab your, your scraper and you're going to scrape it down. Get rid of any lines, bubbles, anything that's in the way. Get rid of it. So just go ahead with your scraper, with your hands, and just get rid of anything that's in the way. And let's get ready to add it to our cup. Once you have it ready, pick it up and we're going to go ahead straight to our cup and we're going to add it. Make sure you have your cup close to you. You want it as close as you can. Peel off the back end. Look at how smooth that was. That was super smooth, let me tell you. Bring it down to you. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to apply it to our cup. Make sure you have your cup lined up how you want it. And just go ahead and apply your decal right onto it. As soon as you have it how you want it, press on it. Right there, start pressing on it with your hands and it's just keep pressing on it so you give it enough pressure to stay. Make sure you press on the whole thing from the top to the bottom, from the corner to the edge. Press on everything with your hands. You want it to stay on there. You want it to stick on there when you remove the tape. So just keep pressing on it until you have it exactly how you want it and then you're gonna be ready to remove it. Once you're ready to remove it, remove it slowly let me tell you i want you to remove it as slow as you can that is a great tip do not go fast remove it as slow as you can take your time until you are ready to take it all off and there you go that was simple i went through the whole steps with you on how to add the decal and you should be done and look at how gorgeous it came out it says hashtag mom life and I have my confetti Starbucks cup ready to use. And I love the way it looks. It's customized to my way. And I cannot wait to go ahead and fill this up and start drinking my coffee. I hope you guys learned a lot. I hope you got some great tips from this video. And we're going to go ahead and make so many more projects together. I cannot wait for the future for us. Because I'm bringing you along with me. I'm going to be making a 
giveaway soon. So don't even worry. I got your back and I'll be making different decals for you. And until next time, bye you guys.